Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning out my first week in my new catch-all. This is all set up. I think the video should go live sometime in the next few days. My filming schedule is all out of order right now, but I set up my new catch-all for the second half of 2022. Same kind of pages as last time. So this is like the Boho Dreams planner, I want to say, but the dividers are from the Marabou Designs planner. Anyway, we're planning for the week of July 4th through 10th, and I'm going to do a 4th of July spread. I'm not feeling super patriotic after all that is going on in this country right now, but I spent a lot of work or I spent a lot of time and a lot of work making the 4th of July stickers for my shop. So I'm going to use them. Um, we had 4th of July like family plans last week, but the party got canceled. So I am going to just do a 4th of July spread. I grabbed the stickers from my own shop. These were just two oops sheets. Um, so I have them on the paper and the clear. I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to be using, but I wanted to make use of the stickers because, you know, I made them for the holiday, so I'm going to use them. I also have this Happy Blooms book, and I've been saving this set of florals all year for 4th of July. These, like, kind of red, white, and blue florals. I think they're gorgeous, um, and I've been waiting to use them all year, so I'm going to use these. Maybe some quotes out of here. I know the colors aren't, like, an exact match, but I think I can make it work. And then I grabbed the Seasons book, which is, like, probably my favorite seasonal Happy Planner sticker book, and... I thought like this let freedom ring makes the magic fun in the sun. I felt like that was like a good middle ground in the color palette. So I'm going to use those, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this off the discs and we will get started. So I think the first thing I want to do is like use this 4th of July sticker on the 4th of July. I will have to find some colorful boxes at some point and I don't know what color I would do. Maybe gold, although I think the foiling on this is silver. So maybe silver would work. I think I only have one sheet of these florals. And then these ones have purple and I don't want to use the purple. So I only have one sheet of these, but then I do have a second copy of the book. So fear not, I can find more of these florals if needed. This is one of my favorite floral sticker books that they've done as well. The florals in this book are just so gorgeous. And I think I'm going to start by just kind of putting this up here at the top of the sidebar and creating a spot for the 4th of July label sticker. I need scissors. That would be important. And then I'm just going to cut off all of that overhang. It's been a minute since I, well, actually it hasn't. I was going to say it's been a minute since I planned with stickers for my shop, but I used the roller skates last week in my catch-all. And before that, I used the cards. So maybe I've been using a lot more of my stickers um, than I usually do. I am currently working on the designs for the July release. And I don't have a set date in mind. I'm going with the paper version of the 4th of July ones because I want to like layer stuff. Um, I don't have a set date in mind for the July release. I will let you know when that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a little bit later in the month this time around. So probably the next like week. Like I'll let you know. I don't want to make any promises right now um, as I kind of just like figure out what my uh, release schedule is going to look like. I just need to make designs and I can't have a release if I don't have designs. I do have a new rep team, which is very exciting. I'm super excited uh, to have all of these reps working for me in the upcoming term or the current term. All of their codes are active now for 15% off of your order. And if I remember to do so, I will include a list of all my new reps down below. I need to post that over in the community tab um just so people like know who the new reps are but if any of them have youtube channels i'll try to link those as well because i tried to like pick people who are on multiple platforms like instagram and tiktok and youtube everyone's on instagram but some of them are on tiktok and youtube as well so we've got like a fourth of july thing going up here and then i want to work in some of those full boxes so i'll take these kind of cream florals and maybe go down here. Like that seems like a good idea. I'm wearing a sweater. It is super hot outside. I would say it's like 85 degrees and I'm wearing this full sweater, but I've been wearing this Apple watch like every day and I like it because it tracks my steps and I, I would like to know um, like how many steps I'm getting in. Like I'm a fan of data and I, I know corporations are a fan of data as well. Um, so biometric data it is what it is i like just knowing what like 
what kind of exercise I'm actually getting on on like a daily basis because I'm not like keeping track of that myself. Um, I've been wearing this Apple Watch and it has been like rubbing on my wrist like awful. And I think it's because it's like a silicone band. I don't know. I'm getting like this awful like rash or like my skin is just not looking good under there. So we're going to keep the sweater over my wrist for your sake. Um, it is not pleasant to look at. Maybe some washi tape like down here, up there. I don't really have any red or blue washi that I think would work well with this spread. I grabbed silver because of the silver on there. I don't know, I don't think I wanna bring in gold. I love this washi so much, but I think it's not the right scenario for that. Allie just released, and that's Allie from According to Allie, three new washi tape designs in her shop and I had to get all of them. So one of them is strawberries and I have a set of her strawberry stickers in my planner sticker album um, waiting to be used. So now I'm going to hold off until I get my strawberry washi in. She also did lemons. And then that spotty dotty that I just showed you, the gold one, she did that one, but in black and white. So it'll be a nice like non foiled washi tape. And that would have worked really well in this spread if I had it, but I just ordered today. So obviously I don't have that quite yet. I ordered so many stickers from her new release. It is just so, like, it's so well done. Okay, I kind of like the washi tape. It's weird that it looks like little strings, you know? Maybe this wasn't the move up here. Looks a little bit better on that side. So I'm thinking about what functional boxes I want to use and maybe a combination of the ones out of the Indigo sticker book. Like, I really love this pattern. It might be a little too much, but I really like that. Uh... This is a little bit more navy, but it would match those florals. I think this is a pretty close match to that blue. Um, so just something out of here might work, and then I can grab some silver boxes as well so that they're not all like this pattern, if that's what I choose to go with. On Monday, which is 4th of July, I am working, you know, um, I actually did want to work on 4th of July because it's time and a half. So I'll get paid a little bit more for coming in. And I didn't have any 4th of July plans because our family party was supposed to be on Saturday. And then it got canceled because my parents have to like help my brother find an apartment. He just accepted a new job, but it's um, not like terribly far away. It's a couple hours away, but he needed to move in like almost immediately. So they're like looking for an apartment that he can like move into, like sign the lease and move in right away kind of thing. So I've got work on Monday and I think Tuesday, probably Tuesday, I mean, I put a box there. Okay, so I have work Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday as well. So I'll take another one of these out of the Indigo book and this can go like up here. I'm leaving a lot of room if plans get added in because I'm not sure outside of my work schedule like what's gonna be on the docket this week. It, it just kind of like work and then whatever else I choose to like plan for. I'm gonna find my crocodile punch to get rid of the overlap over here. I can never tell you enough that how much I love this crocodile punch. I got it at Michael's and I used a coupon on it so it was actually super cheap. I think this cluster down here might need some more florals. So I'll take, let's see, maybe the red ones. That might be good. I mean, it'd be like red on red, so, huh. I'm gonna obviously crop it so it like doesn't cover up the text part of that, but there aren't any red florals down there. I could also do the blue ones, but I don't know if they're big enough to really make the impact that I want them to. So I'll cut this. And this piece is just gonna kind of appear as if it's layered below that Let Fre Freedom Ring sticker to bring that cluster out a little bit wider that works. The boxes are looking a little plain, but I can fix that as we move on. I'm going to kind of skip over to the second half of the spread and just kind of clean up my table space a little bit more. I'm struggling to find my second copy of this sticker book, so we might just have to make do with what's in here. I mean, this, this one is fine. Some of the cream ones are fine. Okay. I mean, it has purple, but we could cover up the purple pretty easily. So I'll start with this one that's just kind of like here. And this one's gonna go on Thursday. I do have Thursday off this week. I had scheduled like t 
time or like my availability on Thursday because I was like thinking that I was going to be doing something with Nick, but he got tickets to like this Rod Stewart concert and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go, whatever. Um, I'm not like really interested in going, but I do like like being able to like go places, you know, or like go out on like, go like if, if offered a concert, I will definitely go to a concert. It doesn't really matter if it's someone that I like or not, or like I'm a big follower of. But anyway, his friend who is like a really big fan um, was like excited that he had gotten tickets. So Nick gave my ticket to his friend. So I'm not gonna be going, but I did get the day off of work. So now I have a day off of work. Not the worst way to spend a Thursday. I'm using this Make Some Magic right there. I think it's a really cute sticker with the fireworks on it. And I might even combine that with this Stars and Stripes uh, sticker right down here. And they've been like doing fireworks like on the block. Um, back at my parents' place in Illinois, fireworks are illegal. So it's a lot more like relaxed up here in Wisconsin, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm just not used to it. And the, like, when we're back at my parents' place, like, growing up, our neighbor always used to, like, do professional-level fireworks in their backyard every 4th of July, which was so irritating and also, like, super dangerous. Like, I'm talking, like, the stuff, like, the, the fireworks displays that, like, companies put on. Like, not, like, backyard fireworks. Like, I get backyard fireworks, but... This was like full on like firework display in your backyard and the houses are like kind of close to each other. Like you're going to catch a tree on fire kind of thing. Um, and the dog hated it. Like she, she doesn't mind like thunderstorms, um, but like fireworks drive her crazy. And every year it was just like so upsetting to her that the neighbors were like doing these really loud fireworks nearby. And the cops always got called on my neighbor because they're doing like professional level fireworks in their backyard in like suburban Chicago. Um, so we'll see what happens this year with that. Uh, and I have a hunch that like she's like, it's not the loud noise of the firework itself that is irritating the dog. It's probably the like kind of high pitched noise that they make when they get shot off. Um, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. It was kind of entertaining, like, not gonna lie. Like, when someone's doing, like, professional level fireworks, like, really close to you and you can see really well, like, it is entertaining, but also, like, very irresponsible. So I'm putting some florals up here kind of on the weekend. I think I have Sunday off as well, so I suppose this Good Times sticker would be appropriate for up there. It's leaning more onto Saturday, and I don't have any Saturday plans, I think. I think, except for maybe work. It's always work. I need to cut back on hours um, just to focus on the sticker shop and stuff like that. And also like, I need more time to rest. It's hard being on your feet all day in a retail environment. I don't know how people do it like full time. Um, I'm working like 30 hours a week and that's still like a lot. Okay, we've got good times up here and I'll add in like, a star or so to bring the color palette up here. I kind of designed the two 4th of July sticker sheets that I did around food. So this one is like a bomb pop like <laughs> kind of thing, which is an amazing, amazing popsicle. Um, and then the other one is like a backyard grilling like hot dog theme, which I used in my daily the other day, but I might make another spread either my currently or like something else using that. I'm still deciding what I want to post on like the Monday of 4th of July and I think I'll like probably use that hot dog sticker sheet for that. I do have to work on the 9th but there's also that music festival still going on. It's like a three weekend thing. Um, so I want to put in a box because I was thinking we would go see some shows on this Saturday. So Nick is going to go see someone on, well he's going to go see Rod Stewart on the 7th and I'm not going to go to that. but. There are bands playing on the 9th that I would like to see, and I'm trying to figure out the layering situation here. I don't really like the green of the leaf, and I don't want it to show through if I put a box on top of it. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just, like, as best I can, cut the leaf out of the flower so that I don't even need to, like, deal with 
it showing through the like boxes I place on top of it. I think that works surprisingly well. Now I'm going to take this full size box and maybe the good times is a more direct reference to like going to a concert. So this one will go where it can kind of layer underneath the good times. So like right here, I'm not whiting out the lines that go underneath them. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we've got that box on Saturday. I need to find something for the work shift. And I do need to like tell them like, can I get off an hour, like hour or two early or like come in an hour or two early and then leave an hour or two before I was like scheduled to end so that I can go to this concert, which is like totally doable. Normally they're pretty flexible with the scheduling. So I just need to ask about that, but probably better to, better to do that sooner rather than later, huh? We've got Saturday kind of figured out. Friday, I also have to work, so I probably need another box for that. I'm not really one to use silver boxes or silver stickers in general, but there is a time and a place for them, and I think this might be that time and place. I do need a little bit more washi on this side of the spread, and this washi is really old. I want to say I got it at Michael's. Probably. I mean, that's where I get most of my washi tape from. Every time I like post something online or like on Instagram or whatever, using washi tape, everyone's like, where did, where did you get the washi tape from? And I can never remember. Um, if it's an older one in my collection, probably Michael's. But if it's a newer one, it's almost definitely Simply Gilded because that's almost exclusively where I get my washi tape from these days. I love, love, love the Simply Gilded washies. I got some new stuff from them recently and I was like planning on doing an unboxing and then I just never got around to it. So it's all sitting in a in the box or the bag right now, just waiting for me to like unbox it. I got two new sticker albums because they had a new sticker album size come out recently that's like a photo size, like a four by six. And I got like a tie dye one. I also got, I think what they're calling pink pearl and it's kind of iridescent. It's really pretty. I'm layering some florals behind this work shift on Friday, although I don't think this cream one looks very good up in this corner, just because that cream one is there. So maybe I need to like put it on the other side. You can just kind of tuck it right back behind there, making my Friday work shift all fancy. I think that looks pretty good. As far as stickers in the seasons book go, I have fun in the sun which is slightly, like, it's a slightly different red color. It's not the same red as the Let Freedom Ring one, so I just don't know if I want to bring it in. Yes, that's where that whole silver foiling idea came from, but maybe I'll save it for something else. And when I use my Grillin' and Chillin' sticker sheet, I think I want to pair it with the, like, grill and Chill stuff out of here, because there's some barbecue-themed stickers in this one. That could be, like, a fun spread to put together, like a full, like, barbecue grill kind of thing. We've got the clear ones, but none of these are like 4th of July like themed. I would love to see some like firework stickers and maybe I have those in a different sticker book. I just have to do some poking around. New Year's has fireworks, but they're gold and I'm using silver. So not going to do that. I grabbed two more sticker books just to see if there's like any fireworks or something that would work in the spread. Summer Vibes. This is a great <laughs> sticker book and I wish they had like kept it around longer because it's pretty sought after. Um, and I used a lot of stickers out of here kind of willy nilly and now I'm like, man, I should have kept more. <laughs> I should have hoarded these a little bit better, I guess. But yeah, I don't know if anything in here is going to work. Probably not the right color palette. And then we have Cheerful Seasons, which is another recent seasonal book. And I think the illustration style is very similar to the one out of that Yay Seasons book. It's probably the same illustrator who, who created this one. Let's see what we got. Okay, we started at the back of the year. We've got summer stuff. Here we go. Fourth of July, fireworks and hot dogs. I don't know if I need any of these like regular boxes. As far as 4th of July options go, we have Stars and Stripes, which this already says Stars and Stripes. I do like the little hat. It could be nice to bring in some more navy, maybe into this cluster down here, the Let Freedom Ring. I'll just try it out. The blue is not the same 
but it's somewhere in between this and the and the florals so I think I can let it slide you can do like stars and stripes down here maybe on top of that washi tape in this cluster it's not my favorite actually it's a cute sticker but I don't think it's my favorite for like that that spot at least I love the little anchor sticker and that color palette. I'm doing some nautical stuff for my uh, July release. Think like New England summer. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for in one of my new collections. Okay, we've got Shine Bright, but it's that same blue that I just strayed away from. I think it's the fireworks that I want to like see if they work out. It might be too much. They're also gold foiled. Oh, we also got the bomb pops here. Uh, they match kind of like the ones that I made. So if I were to like put one like here, is that too much? It feels a little, I think it's doing the same job that the florals are doing as like the accent piece. So I'm going to save these for something else. But now that I know where they are, I'm, I'm a little bit happier like to know that I do have some firework stickers. I was going to order some from some small shops, but then like shipping time I had to account for and they just weren't going to be here in time. So I'm like, I'll just make do with what I have or like find something but this is looking good so far I think I need to add in a few checklists I also want to grab a larger colorful box out of the indigo book on Sunday I think well I have the day off of work so I think I'm going to try to put together some like brunch plans so this would be like a nice spot to like plan that out down here and then I could put my checklist like in the box above it maybe I'm going to go with the silver ones. I also ordered some more stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans. She had a re-release of the Black Colorful Boxes book uh, that I love so much. Although it's a little bit different now. So it's black boxes and more. And it has like number stickers that you can use to like redate things in the back. There's some like month stickers, like headers. So the last few pages are now like text, um, which... I'm not angry about it. I kind of like that idea. And there's bullet points in there too. So whenever you're running low on bullet points, like Mojo Jojo Plans now has bullet points in the sticker books, which is exciting. So I ordered another copy of the black boxes, which I go through really fast because I use a lot of black boxes in my planner. But then I was looking for some more neutral options and she had a couple new color options. All of the rainbow stuff, which I didn't order any of the rainbow ones because I was like, yeah, I want neutrals that'll match all of the stickers that I choose to use. So I got brown and I got gray and then I got black. So three books from her and I'll be very excited when they arrive in the mail. They shipped super fast. Like I ordered this morning and they were in the mail like two hours later maybe. Um, so she is working hard to get all of the stickers out the door. And I mean, it's probably a little bit easier to get your uh, your stickers shipped right away when they're like already manufactured books like you have them on hand you order like a set quantity of them whatever uh versus like sticker sheets that get made from scratch but i don't know really fast shipping time okay we've got a lot of checklists going on creating some functional space like especially on thursday when i didn't have any work um i'll be getting stuff done so that's a good place for that i don't know what it needs I'm going to go back to my little header stickers. They do match the quotes that I um, have from my own shop. So like, it's the same font. I'm taking the blue ones and I'm just going to try one out to see if the blue is the right color. I know I placed them last week and then I tore them all up. So I hope I don't have to repeat that, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to want headers on top of these checklists anyway. So if it's not these, it's something else. They're all just going to be today because that's, Typically what I'll label my checklists. Take another today one for Thursday. And I'm going to need to find like another sheet of these to deal with Sunday. Although it goes all the way up to the top of the box, which I don't exactly like that because it's not even with the rest of them. So maybe I'll cut it down. I grabbed the X-Acto, but now I'm thinking maybe the washi tape just isn't the right choice for this. So I'll peel that up being indecisive again. It just kind of like sections things out in a way that I didn't really like. It looks good in this cluster. That's my issue is I, I really want it in that cluster, but I don't like it across the page. So maybe I just needed to have it somewhere different. Like maybe up here at the top of the spread. 
So if I grab a little bit more of this, we can just kind of like test that theory out. It's an old washi tape and I don't foresee like ever having to use the entire roll of this. So I can just kind of test things out. And washi tape gets old, like not that it expires, but at a certain point, like it gets a little too sticky for its own good. And then it just sticks to itself and you can never peel it up off the roll. So I want to use it while I, while I still have like a little bit of control over what it's doing. So if I try that out, does that look better? I think that helped a little bit. Now I can take my checklist and bump that down to the bottom of the box so that it looks exactly like the other ones rather than kind of cramped up top. I'll take another today header for that. And I'm working on some new like functional words for the July release. So there's gonna be a meals one. I know that for sure, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, that kind of thing. We've got the headers. I wanna take this last trio of the blue florals and put that kind of down here to kind of complete this trio with like the red, white, and blue. These florals are so perfect for 4th of July. I'm so glad I saved them for this occasion because I, I couldn't picture this any other way. Like, I think this is turning out really well. I want like a red star up here, but I don't have any more of the paper ones. So I'm gonna take the clear sheet and just take the red star off of that. It might be a slight color difference in like the saturation because you know, ink prints a little bit differently on the clear than it does on the paper. And I have been struggling with like printing red ink recently and I, I don't know, something about clear paper and red ink just not working out in my favor. But no, I think that looks good. Now I have one small blue star on my hand that I should probably just use. It'll just go right up here. I'm looking at this and it's like four kind of clusters. So like this, I would say is a cluster. That's a cluster. That's a cluster. That's a definite cluster. I want like a fifth one to kind of balance things out. And I'm thinking just a little something that comes in from the edge of the sidebar might be good. Not a lot to work with on this one sheet of florals, but I can kind of pick and choose from what's left. These clear ones might be good. So like if I take this clear, or not this clear, cream, this cream colored floral, I could like put that down here maybe. And I wanna bring in some like red or blue to like really make that work, but I'm still trying to figure out what my options are for that. I have two more quotes on this sheet that I could choose from. So with freedom comes responsibility. I don't know if it would fit very well in this space and also Land of Liberty, but I feel we're feeling kind of low on the Liberty lately. So I don't know if that's the right choice here. I don't, I just don't think it's going to work. Um, trying to decide what else I want to do with this. There are some clear little blue florals that I could kind of put over here with that. So I'll start by doing that piece. And I'm just looking for like more red. I just need like a pop of red over here, I think. I'm thinking if I take one of these, like one of these clear florals, it has that purple on it, but I could cut it in a way where the purple doesn't make it onto the page. So like, we could just kind of have the red come in from the side over here. And that would get the touch of red that I need. Again, saturation difference between the ones that are printed on paper and the ones that are printed on clear. It is a universal thing. So Happy Planner has that issue. I have that issue. Not much that can be done about it. Yeah, I think that works. And then this like purple floral is just going to go back in the book because I'm not going to use that in the spread. I'm going to go back to the clear sticker sheet with the stars because we already got some clear stars in here. And I'm going to put like one blue one over here in the sidebar. And I'm looking for like a slightly smaller one, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'll do this like darker blue one just to bring all the colors in. And now I'm, I, I looked at this from afar and I'm like, okay, I like the way it, it looks, but I think what I need to do is take the checklists out. I think I'm gonna take the checklists out and I will tell you why in just a second when I get this star trimmed. Oh, and maybe I'll take the other part of this and like put it up here at the top of this cluster just to bring the blue up to the top again. That looks fine. We got a nice corner thing going on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take the checklist off 
because I got these really cool markers in the mail today. They're called Zig Clean Color Dot. I'll try to link them down below. I just got them on Amazon. They weren't terribly expensive for what they are. They're kind of like mild liners. These are the mild colors and they're like dot markers. So you can make bullet points using them. I've seen a lot of people like do bullet points with these in like their daily planners and they've always turned out really good. So for example, I just have some like scratch paper here. Um, it's like a like a marker, but it's round. You remember those like stamping markers that we had as like kids? I don't know, um, but you can make bullet points with it in like varying sizes based on how hard you press down with it. There is a little bit of bleed with them. So like if I flip this over, you can see a little bit of bleed, but it's not terrible. And the darker colors bleed a little bit more than the like lighter colors do. So this blue will probably bleed a lot more than say like the pink, but I think this color would be really great for this. And then I can just put in the bullet points as the week goes on like depending on how I actually need to use them rather than like having these super like linear vertical checklists that are kind of dividing up the space in a way that I don't really want them to. So we'll peel these up. I know, I know there's a lot of peeling and changing going on in this video, but I think it will be for the best. And also like worst case scenario, I decide that I don't like the bullet points directly on the page and I, peel them up and then, or not peel them up because they're marker. Um, I wipe them out and then I put the checklist back on top of them. I mean, they don't want to stay back in the sticker book. I tried, but we'll just shut, shut the book on them. Much like you close the door on the Tupperwares, like the cabinet door on the Tupperwares, and you just hope they don't fall out. Um, I'm going to take one more box and put this kind of up here, Tuesday, Wednesday area. I'll try to make some plans. I mean, I should like try to make some social plans at some point during this week. I think that works out. Okay, this is looking good. I'm trying to decide, do I want like a small silver box kind of up at the top of this to like mark the time of Sunday plans? I think so. I'm gonna find the skinny silver boxes. And if I do that down there, so like this, Another nice pop of silver, so bringing that foil color throughout the spread. If I do that, I'm probably also going to want one over here. And I'm going to do this in a way where it's like just in line with the box that's below it. So this will be the work shift and then this will be the time for like the concert we're going to on Saturday. And I think with that, I'm going to be done with this spread. This is going to go back on the discs and I'm just going to get a good look at it. And here it is all set up on the discs. Yes, there have been a lot of twists and turns in this video, like decision making wise, but I think it's really fun. Um, I like the floral accent. I think it's like a non-traditional, like 4th of July kind of accent. It's not fireworks and it's not stars. I mean, there are stars in here, but I think the florals, the red, white and blue florals is a really fun touch to go behind all these quotes. And I'm happy that I was able to use some of my own 4th of July stickers in the spread. I didn't use the like popsicles, but I still think it's really fun. And I'll use those popsicles probably in my daily planner so they won't go to waste. Um, but I'm going to call it good on this one. I'm happy with the way this turned out. And I will try my best to share an after the pen of this over on my Instagram so that you can see how those like bullet points worked out for me or if they worked out for me at all. Who knows? Um, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Let's just hope it doesn't bleed through the pages too badly. But there you have it. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning. <laughs>